Which is way. So you need three pieces of wood in here? Yeah, to make oh, one box. Okay. So you need three pieces. Can you open this over there? You want me to talk or are you going to add? Yeah. Well, this is a simple vegetable box built on the cheap. So this is just made from uh, seven and a half inch wide, I think it is, redwood fence boards. This is just a cedar uh, fence runner, two by four. Just these fence boards come with a uh, uh, dog ear end, cut the dog ear end off and you have roughly a six foot length. And I took another board, same thing, and cut it for my ends. I just chose 30 inches wide, a typical vegetable bin and commercial row crop is 40 inches and they're starting to make better use of ground now with the advent of drip irrigation. So this box is roughly 6 by 30 and you can do it as simple as you want or as sophisticated as you want. The key is when you're trying to start something from seed is you got to keep it wet. Once you get the seed wet it cannot dry out or you'll stop the germination process. And how much do you think that is for the wood? Uh, this here, these fence boards are, you know, you can get them between two and four dollars. Redwood, this was about four dollars a piece. This cedar two by four is like two dollars or less for the whole thing for an eight foot piece, six foot piece. Uh, soaker hose, you can use drip, drip, actual drip irrigation, costs more, there's a lot of pieces, it's not really necessary in a box like this, unless you can get your hands on actual drip tape that they use in, in commercial farming, and they have hole spacing from everywhere from three inches to eight inches, so you can um, get the water right to your plant, but when you're trying to germinate, new seedlings, you overseed because there's a percentage of seeds that are not going to make it. You, know, you look on the pack of seeds and they'll say 85, 85 is pretty common, 85 percent germination rate. That so means, you're going to put more seeds just in, because none of them, all, instead of putting just one seed, you will put more. Yeah, there's a potential that 15 percent are not going to seed, okay. even if everything's perfect, just because they are not perfect. Okay. And then there's other factors outside here that are going to, yeah. could cause some casualties as well. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see in the camera, we have some seedlings coming up in this first row. So now what is that wire in there for first? Well... That we, didn't come with the hose, right? No. This is common soaker hose. I just cut it to length to get one wrap or one line for each plant line. And then I since I, I cut it, you know, it was a 20-foot hose to begin with or something like that, cut it, just bought a, a garden hose repair fitting and a cap to cap this hose. And originally I had it just laying on the, directly on the soil, and that's fine, but uh, I thought so that it wouldn't um, interfere with any of the seedlings trying to come through the ground. I just strung wire just off of where the the plant line is. You can see here's the sprouts coming through. So this is just an inch off to the side. Hang the hose from there and just kind of suspends it and then it'll just drip. Let me turn the water on a little bit. So where is the, the seeds already? Where is the little sprouting? Well here's, if you focus at my fingertip, Okay. All along this line, there you see little oh, yeah, I see light that. green starting yeah. to come through. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah. I think this was uh, spinach in this first row, and that's a pretty quick germinator. We have uh, carrots, cilantro, and I forget what the fourth one is in this box. Kale, I think you know kale. Not no, kale. we were going to save kale for a bigger box, but things. Most of these types of vegetables are between seven days to two weeks, and temperatures yeah. is a factor there. There's about a 
eight cubic yards of soil in here and you can see it could hold some more but it's really not necessary to fill it to the brim this is plenty but a little higher doesn't hurt either the purpose of the box for one thing is the one of the main reasons is it will warm this soil quicker than it will warm the soil on the flat ground the sun <coughs> can hit it from all sides it's isolated it's a smaller smaller unit so it'll warm up quicker that speeds up germination helps uh, helps them get through the cold nights so it's like a moisture yeah plus Moist. yeah <clears throat> so the wire you just add it there you attach it with a nail right yeah I just use some roofing nails on the ends because they have a wider head and that'll act, act as the anchor there's nothing fancy I just cut some of the so I just twisted the end around put some tension on it didn't have to be over tight and I just you can use anything you want if you have little uh, ties like for closing bags in the grocery store those kind of uh, twist ties that's fine I just cut some of the same wire to make my my hanger there so you had before you had it right on top of the soil now you lift it up so it could uh, for what reason <clears throat> oh just to just in case the hose is laying on a seedling it could yeah, okay. you know it could break the head of the to protect it of the, of the little seedling as it's trying to come through the ground but they're actually stronger than you think I mean they can push a dirt clot out of, out of their way yeah, sometimes yeah. when they're trying to get to the sun they can actually push a dirt clot out of their way of course there is a point where they will just so the reason they sprout is because they're looking for light right for the sun yes light. exactly mm, very interesting yeah. um, what about how much with the whole bag with the soil is will cost them if they wanted to do it to do one box like this is probably like the wood you got to buy a soaker hose uh, spool of wire box of nails um, you know fifty sixty dollars that's not bad so, and you the only only reason I chose redwood is it's stands up to being wet better same with this cedar fence post they they can handle moisture I mean that's what they're made for is why they why they use it for fencing so they're more like water resistant I mean weather yeah. resistant right yeah they don't they are slow to rot from contact with water what about the soil now uh, you can buy organic soil right this is the next bag you're gonna do yeah there's, these are 1.5, so one and a half cubic feet bags of organic garden soil. You don't have to use that, but uh, any good, it needs to be a topsoil, not, not a soil for uh, house plants. So it needs to have a little more... Uh, it, says, it says flower and herb, so that's what you need, right? Flower and herbs right here. So how many bags? Well, the, these are one and a half cubic feet. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. Mm -hmm. This is probably a little more than we need, but we didn't get this first box very full either. And then so uh, here's our three fence boards. You can see the dog dog ear. We'll just cut that off to get a nice square in, and that that was the length I used to begin okay. with. And then you take one and cut it in half, right? For the, uh, you, for the yeah to, for the to create the, create the end, uh, cut it in half, cut it whatever you you decide how many rows you want to put in there, and you need to look at what you're growing to determine how much width you need. Uh, look on the packet of your seeds if you don't know and what the what the suggested row spacing is. So you, some things like to be crowded and other things they need some room to breathe. So this right here, this is, I'm talking about organic, organic soil and the wood, it would be about 60 if they want to start it, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. the organic soil is a little bit more money. And what, yeah. on this next box, what I plan to do is put uh, food waste, you know, the husk of avocados, uh, banana peels, just, you know, all that kind of food waste you have from preparing meals. Yeah. I'm going to actually put it in the bottom of the box before we put the soil in okay. and that 
as that decomposes, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to release nitrogen and, and other minerals into the soil. So and we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to show them how to do the bags. You're going to put it, cut it, put it together, and then add the um, leftover, leftover, right? Uh, yeah. The from food, the juicing food and waste. Yeah, from juicing, fruits and everything. All that pulp that's left. We're going to mix. Food scraps. And that's, what is that called? Well, it it's almost like composting. Oh, compost. Okay, yeah. like compost. That's what you're going to do, compost, which is very good. Uh, it's like a fertilizer. It works as a fertilizer. Yeah. Right? yeah. When the food waste decomposes, it's releasing nitrogen and other minerals yeah. to the soil. So it's very, so very important. You use that instead of fertilizers. And so we'll come back. I feel like that guy from California, what's the name? Uh, Hugh Hauser. Hugh Hauser. We'll come back. Uh, we'll show you how to put it together. And I'll come back and show you how the seedlings are doing. Okay? Here's my dog, bothering the neighbors. Jen!